Mike. All right, Mango Mike here from Bearing Fruit Tropicals, and we're back from a short lunch break. How are your tacos? Great. Guess what was on my taco? Everything. Mango. Yeah. <laughs> Mangoes on tacos. Crunch, sweetness, little tartness, little je ne sais quoi, little I don't know what, but it was fabuloso. Not the floor cleaner, like the good stuff. Like it was <laughs> fabulous. All right, we're tasting a lot of mangoes. Yeah. I just took some berberine in preparation. We have here, let's see, we've been tasting mangoes from more mild classic flavors to more potent flavors. So I guess going along with that, next we will do this beautiful mango here. Can you guess what it is? Hmm? It's big. It's, big. <laughs> it's almost it's big like a Venus, not as round. No, it's not a Tommy. Fruit punch. It's not fruit punch, although fruit punch mangoes do look somewhat fruit similar. Cocktail? This it's a delicious. is a mango called Southern Blush. Ooh. Southern Blush. I like those. Probably a Hayden seedling like all other kind of, you know, Florida mangoes. Oh, their uh, existence to that mango and the popularity of that mango and you know people take seeds and plant seeds and eventually you know you end up with stuff that's worthwhile and even better than the parents have you ever had a southern blush no looking at it what do you think what are you expecting i think it'll be very sweet and fruity sweet and fruity not fibrous I'm guessing. Mm. does it smell like anything to you mm. no <laughs> No, sometimes the best smell is over here on the stem. If you like scratch and sniff that. Scratch and sniff. Yeah, you get a like little, the stickers. you get that mango smell. A little bit of that turpentine uh, lineage there too. All right, ready? Yeah. Color, what do you think? Dark, yeah. light? Dark. Light, like light at the outer. Thing. And darker in the middle. Like a dark red blush. Yeah, it's pretty ripe, so you may be right. Again, mango's ripen from the inside out, so closer to the seed, the color may indeed be different. And it is. Yeah. Give this man a hand. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. That's why he's Mango Marcos. That's why he's Mango Marcos, folks. There you go. So you see there is darker towards the seed. Again, that would be an area that is ripe or most ripe and then on the outside you can see perfectly ripe so the texture may vary again the flavor may even vary from spot to spot but that's just what happens with mango mm, that slice was nice nice sounds kind of fibery now hold on pass that down to mango marcus's mom <laughs> She doesn't want to be on camera, but she is a willing participant. There's a, there's a chunky bit for you. Here you go, girls. Thank you. Nice, meaty slices. Yes. Definitely hearty. This mango could be a meal for, you know, a small person. I love it. When you scrape the skin, you get like a coconutty flavor. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. This coconut. Very sweet and juicy. Very thick. For me, it's like a watered down mm -hmm. sweet. Negra, get it. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's this not very fibrous. My favorite. I'm going to go for a chunky bit. I'm going to treat myself. It's not very fibrous. No. It is. It's so good. It's, it's, it's smells, like really good. It smells lightly sweet, you know? Definitely a classic mango. Look at that. It's pretty. But it's not classic mango flavor. It's coconutty. Oh, well, it smells like classic mango. Yeah, there's a slight hit on coconut. You taste it. It's so good. <clears throat> that actually might be one of my new favorites. Can I have the seed? I'm not a big fan I of coconut. I highly recommend this mango. She wants the seed. There you go, kid. Give me a piece. 
You don't have to finish it, but if you don't it's like almost it. as big as my head. I like it. Almost, but I'm not. Yeah, we have lots of mango to taste. There's a lot of meat on that. Yeah. Pace yourself, kids. Mm. Mm. Giant seed. Skin's nice and thick. You can see you can peel it like this with your hand. But I like to scrape the skin, but you know, just like to see if I could do that. Some mangoes have thinner skin than others. I definitely rate this uh, 9.5. It's so good. I mean, I'm not a very big coconut fan. It's like a 7 for me. Like a 7 for you? 8.4. <laughs> I mostly get classic mango on this. Maybe a slight, very subtle hint of coconut. That was very coconut. Oh, well, not very coconut. It was. Delicious. Coconut cream is very coconutty, and four is very coconutty. It was so good. <laughs> Karen Michelle, even to a certain extent, is very coconutty. Not bad. <clears throat> I thought it was mild. The flavor was a little mild for me. Definitely, I would rate it as a classic mango. Not a bad mango. Lots of meat on that mango, as you saw. Um, I would not be against having a tree, other than I, I think they're, they don't do very well with disease anymore. Um, if you have bacterial black spot in your area, I do think they're prone. So, Get your hand on some while you can. Those varieties that are prone to bacteria, bacteria black spot are slowly but surely being top worked at least here in the area where we are where that's a problem it's happening so who knows how long some varieties like this will be around uh they'll become more and more rare as people obviously don't want to deal uh with mangoes that, that have that issue but i enjoyed it you enjoyed it yeah mm -hmm. Time well spent. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Mike from Bearing Fruit Tropicals. Check out the link below. If you want to order mangoes like these, let us know. We can ship them to you. Um, so you can enjoy them too. And share with your friends. <laughs> Bye.